Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and read you your story that had your amazing words in it. So if you hear one at home, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. And I'm gonna give you a thumbs up if I hear one too. And I'm looking down at my computer screen so I can read it to you. But when I look up and give you a thumbs up, I've just read an amazing word. So here we go, the lion and the mouse. One day, a long time ago, a lion ate an excellent meal. As soon as he finished, he decided to take a nap in his cool den. He stretched out, he laid his head on his paws and was asleep at once. Soon a curious little mouse peeked around the corner into the lion's den. The mouse could hear the lion snoring, so she tiptoed in. The mouse touched the lion's paw, but he continued to snore. So the little mouse very quietly climbed right on top of the lion's nose. This awakened the king of the beasts. But he did not move. Slowly he opened one eye and he saw the mouse. Suddenly his huge paw came down. He did not miss the tiny creature. As quick as she was, he captured her. The little mouse was terrified. Please, sir, she begged the king of the beasts. Spare me and I will never forget your kindness. No, spare you, roared the lion. You had no invitation to be here. First you dare to awaken me. Then you ask me for a favor. Give me one good reason why I should not eat you. The time may come, replied the little mouse, when I may be able to do a favor for you. You never know what you when you may need the help of a friend like me. The lion began to chuckle. <laughs> He laughed out loud. Ho, 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 ho. How could a tiny mouse ever help him, the king of the beasts? The lion was so amused that he let the mouse go. She scampered away and disappeared into a dark corner. The lion closed his eyes and soon forgot all about that little mouse. Then one day, the lion was out hunting for food. He did not know some hunters had set a trap to catch him. All of a sudden, the king of the beasts was stuck in a net. The lion struggled to get free. The more he fought, however, the more he became tangled in the net. The lion began to panic. This will ruin my life, he thought. Ruin, ruin my life. Then he let out a giant roar. It was so terrible it echoed through the whole forest. Far away, the little mouse stopped and listened. She recognized the voice of the lion who had once spared her life. The little mouse ran through the forest as fast as she could. She found the king of the beasts struggling helplessly in a tangled net. Hello, your majesty, said the mouse. You seem to be all tied up at the moment. Perhaps I can help set you free. The little mouse nibbled and gnawed at the ropes of the net. She worked and she worked and soon she had the mighty lion free. You never know when you might need the help of a friend like me. The lion smiled. Not only had the little mouse been right, but she had saved his life. So, we heard some amazing words in that story. We heard the words, one more time, excellent means something's really good. Suddenly it happens fast. Miss, you didn't catch it, you missed it. Invitation, you weren't invited to be somewhere, invitation. Ruin, to totally destroy something and beautiful, something that's really pretty like a sunset, or your mom or your grandma if you want extra cookies or cake for dessert. <laughs> so you guys have a great rest of the morning and I hope you remember your amazing words. Try to use them in some sentences. Bye.